good morning guys from Mexico <clears throat> excuse my croaky voice it's very early it's like 7 a.m. and I just got out of bed but here we are it is actually raining this morning which I can't believe I just come outside and it's like whoa but we actually do for it because it's so so humid here so I'm hoping that'll cool it down a little bit we've been here since Monday and it is now Saturday but yeah i was planning on doing like a travel vlog and film at the day that we left to come here but let me just tell you the day started with a shambles <laughs> okay so we left the house at 4 a.m and me and Alec went to bed at like 9 p.m balancing my phone so let's just pray that it stays there um we went to bed really early at 9 p.m and i was like we're gonna be fine we're gonna get plenty of sleep but jack woke up at 1 a.m and didn't go back to sleep so i just started in like a bit of a, a horrible frame of mind so i just didn't want to pick up the camera Whoa. <laughs> okay let me just hold it but yeah it's now a saturday so we got here monday afternoon and then it was my birthday on thursday so we just had like a lot going on and i wanted to settle in and get used to it here so i could show you all but today we are going into town this morning for the first time i'm going to take you all with me and i'm going to get a massage for my birthday present it's just been so lovely so lovely to have a break the thing that I was most looking forward to, though, was not having to pick up toys. <laughs> I was wrong. We managed to rent a box of toys for the boys, and I'm still picking up toys every day. So that's a shame. But other than that, it's so lovely to be away. A change of scenery and the weather, the pool, everything. Being with the boys and not having any other pressures is just so nice. So, yeah, just wanted to say good morning and let's spend the day together. Breakfast time. What have you got? Toast, melon, and some blueberries. Yeah. Can you pick up your hand? Like daddy? That like daddy. You can use your fingers, buddy. There you go. There you go. Cheers. 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 <laughs> okay, we're just heading out to the car, but this is the main pool area. And I had to show you because it's a bit cloudy and rainy, it's absolutely empty. And normally at this time, it's like packed and you can't really get a bed. You see people start to reserve stuff, but ah. Oh, so nice. Part of me wishes that we were staying in this morning so that we could. Hello. Are we going this way, are we? We've got the Starbucks or the other building. Oh, yeah. Going to grab a coffee and then into the car. Well, we're at a beach, but not the beach that we're supposed to be at. This morning was an absolute fail. I went to get the coffee at Starbucks and then. That, I was in the queue for like 20 minutes and by the time I got to the car we started driving and it was torrential rain and we just weren't comfortable driving. It was like a 30 minute drive to where we were supposed to be going. So now we have lost our money for the massage. We are at the hotel again and the weather is pretty cloudy today so... You be a good boy now. You don't? Thank you. I just hope he doesn't start That's throwing sand. Well, he's well. gonna throw sand. <laughs> oh, it's fine. <laughs> Gotta get sandy at the beach. <laughs> I don't think he'll do that to a stranger. So anyway, we are back on our beach and we're gonna chill here. But we're both feeling a bit like glum because we wanted to go and do something different today. So we'll see what the afternoon brings. But our boys are enjoying it. A little less hot today. Saturday to get this massage 
she would come back on the Monday and we're very early this time so that we don't miss it again. Boys are in the back. Some quiet little men. And two. We're gonna go explore. We've just arrived, this is a little place. I think the massages must happen up there. Oh. Oh. Sorry, baby! <laughs> sorry! <laughs> I just walked into you, didn't I? I'm so sorry. But look how close we are to the sea. And these are the famous rocks, I think, that you always see when people go to Cabo. But yeah, this is so nice. So nice. Oh yeah, you can see the people having the mass on. there's so many people in there I couldn't really film but yeah let's just see if I can get a little glimpse and this is the view and the bar is down there I can hear the boys crying like two times when I was getting the massage let's go and see what Alan says but I think they've been very good because only two cries in an hour and a half is good Let's see. Yeah. How cute is this? <laughs> have you been good boys? I think I only heard... Have they? No, I, I only heard one cry. Maybe two. Well, I've been told that you've been very good boys. <laughs> Wait, what are we doing now? We're not going to bite them. We're not going to bite them. Tell everyone how good you've been. And with the camera this side, I'm going to see, see us better. Making friends with all the staff. Look at you. Ah. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Making friends with everyone. Building sandcastles. What else? What else? No, thank you. The boys fell asleep on the way home in the car, of course. They had about a 20 minute power nap and then they woke up when we were taking them out of the car. So that's the only negative with going out in the morning is the nap is always messed up. But I've given them milk, put them down and hoping they're gonna go back to sleep. But they've been awake in the room for like 45 minutes already. But I've just found the cutest like little cocoon bed because by the afternoon all the beds are pretty much gone unless it's a really quiet day in the hotel. And let me just tell you, this is like the most relaxing thing ever. Let's see if I can show you. But like, it's just like this little, well, huge bed with like a ceiling so I'm not in the sun but it's just like so warm and cozy and honestly I'm just gonna be reading a book for the next hour while the boys nap and that is the best thing about the holiday to be honest I have relaxed slept and read so much and that is just all I wanted out this trip so yeah but this morning was so lovely I think we're actually gonna go try and go down there again tomorrow we do wish that we had ventured out the hotel a bit more but it's just a lot with the boys I think once they're out of diapers, it'll be so much easier to be out and about when you're on holiday, but you can always wish as well that things you've done things differently once you know in hindsight, but we've done as much as we possibly could. Just going out is like a huge task. We've been out quite a lot. The town that we are next to, San Jose del Carbo, we went to on the rainy day. I should have taken you with me, but it was so badly raining. I was just struggling, but we might go back there for dinner one of the nights. We leave on Thursday and it's Monday today, so we've only got a couple more days. But yeah, I think I'll carry this vlog going just for the next few days and let you know what we're doing. Try and show you a bit more of Carbo because I feel like I haven't shown you much at all. But yeah, it's been lovely. Weather's perfect. We are right at the end of the season. I think it starts going quite rainy and hurricane-y soon, so yeah. 
Not sure what we're gonna do this afternoon, but I imagine we're just gonna have a bit of pool time. And then if we head out tonight, I'll take you with me. If not, I shall see you tomorrow. But for now, I'm gonna go and read this book because I'm really, really into it. If you wanna know, it's by Colleen Hoover and it's called It Ends With Us. Highly recommend. I'm not really one for reading novels, but I'm really enjoying this. So that's what we're gonna do. And enjoy a bit of peace and quiet. Oh, the one of the things that I meant to tell you actually was I have the monitor with me. Our room is like 10 yards that way another huge bonus for having this hotel we've actually been able to use the monitor out here and we get drink service and food service out here so we haven't done it actually much but if we wanted to have dinner say when the boys are asleep or have lunch when they're napping we can come out here and do that so that's been lovely too but we've actually got very much used to eating with the boys very early in the evening and then just relaxing which has been so nice i'll let you know how today goes and catch up with you a bit later when we're doing something interesting for now i'm gonna go and maybe have a little doze and a read I'm picking you up much earlier than I expected because we decided to come back into San Jose town. The boys didn't sleep this afternoon, so they had a 20 minute power nap in the car and we decided not to take them swimming this afternoon because we thought it would be too much. So we have to come into town earlier for an early dinner and a little wander and we're actually in an area that we didn't see the other day when it was raining. So we're going to have a nice little walk around here, find somewhere to eat and spend the sunny afternoon in San Jose take you along show you the town or a little part of the town that we walk through we're just struggling to find anywhere to park it seems people don't have rules on the roads here and they just park anywhere but we're nervous to do that and there's lots of yawning going on back there are we too tired little men yeah you gonna go and have some dinner yeah Just spotted my hotel in the plaza there, house of Natalie. Next time I better book in there, see what it's all about. This is the main plaza. It is very, very quiet. We just came to have a little look. There's a sweet cathedral over there where I just showed you. But we're walking to a different area just to have a look before we find somewhere to eat. But yeah, I'm just shocked at how quiet it is everywhere. So quiet. Oh. Okay, this is where I wanted to get to. It's a long street of nice little boutique shops and restaurants and I'm sure this is what I saw online when I was looking at the town. day running it's actually our last day today which is such a bummer and I'm just getting in the spirit of being here so yeah not ready to leave but the boys have loved it here this place especially they're just like rummaging under this deck um happy as anything and we get to sit on these beach chairs and look out at the ocean and the sea is like so lovely and cold yeah I've just been loving life on the beach to be honest I wish we'd spent most of the holiday down here rather than the resort but if we ever come back again, we know where to come. Can I have Daddy's phone? 
Thank you. Can you show me how you got up the stairs? And show me how good you are at climbing the stairs. And they also made friends with a little girl. I'll show you the video in a minute. But yeah, it's so much fun with a couple of toys and a load of stairs. Hey. We're just driving home. We stayed a little longer on the beach because it was our last day. And look at the boys. <sighs> they tried to use the t-shirts as a headrest, but they are so tired. <laughs> I feel really bad because we've done this for three days running and the journey home is like half an hour, so they're really only getting 20 minutes sleep. So what I think I'm gonna do today is put them in their cribs and just make it really dark and let them just chill out while we pack because they're just so, so tired. And I don't think they'll sleep again, but at least they get a bit of a quiet time. And then we'll probably go out for our last dinner and then we go home tomorrow. I'm thinking to film tomorrow just to show you like the logistics of us getting back. I think me and Anna are sitting separately on the plane, so that'll be interesting. But yeah, it's been a really nice trip, as I was saying earlier. And I'd like to say I feel recharged. We've had a lot of downtime and a lot of rest, but still like, getting the boys in and out of the pool and beach and just like all the changing and all the organizing has been quite a lot but it's definitely been worth it so yeah back home I'm very excited to see Hendrix he's always the best thing about going back home to be honest so yeah and then we have like a month until the boys are two so I think I better start organizing their birthday party but I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because we're gonna spend the afternoon in the hotel we might go swimming if we have time after packing but yeah i hope i've shown you a bit of carbo i feel like the vlog's been very up and down i just not wanted to film i just wanted to relax and read and not really do anything of interest so that's why i haven't been able to show you uh, but yeah it's been lovely here's a little glimpse we just stopped at the supermarket and this is how it looks outside and uh, yeah i would definitely come back i feel like we need to do a lot more exploring. We have had a lot of time just chilling in the resort and that's one thing I regret. I wish we'd gone out and done a bit more, but as I said with kids, it's so hard. So that's the next time we come. I feel like we know a little bit more what we'd want to do. Definitely stay in Cabo San Lucas, not San Jose del Cabo, and spend more time on the beach. The beach is definitely better with the kids when they're this age, if you have like a busy beach and stuff going on. Um, yeah that's probably all i've had to say i think the hardest thing has been getting ready to go out for dinners every night for like 5 6 pm and get ready myself and them and stuff it's just been it's felt like the day has been cut really short i hope i've given you a little insight into our holiday and i will see you all tomorrow for our journey home in the next vlog i'll catch you in bye guys